Good evening. Vamos a esperar un par de minutos para que se puedan meter los otros compañeros. ¿eh? Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you again. So first thing that we will do is to check about the platform. So here is the class of yesterday. So you can see there. Okay, and this is the class of tonight. So tonight, a partir de ahora, ya van a estar acá las preguntas para que podamos participar, okay? And remember that tonight we need to finish the homework number two. So that's the one that we need to finish. Okay. Very good. So we are going to check the attendance. Okay. Hay que recordar que hay que encender las cámaras, please. So, Abel Edenilson Salazar Melara. Abigail Elizabeth Flores Hernández. Carlos Humberto Estrada Escobar. 
Elia Yanira Canizales Blanco. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Gabriel Esaú Melara Rosales. Gisela Beatriz Hernández Morales. Joana Saraí Maldonado González. Carla Daniela Molina Cruz. Present teacher. Good. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Good. Carla Lorena Mendoza Guevara. Present. Good. Kevin Ramiro Vázquez Pineda. Present teacher. Good. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Good. Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. Present teacher. Good. Mirna Janet Ángel de Castro. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Emilio González Cruz. Present teacher. Good. Santos Cristina Cerritos de Ruiz. Saúl Adalberto Cornejo Valdés. Present. Good. Jocelyn Stephanie Roldán Castaneda. Present. Good. Perfect. Ok. So we are going to start the class. Nice. Very good. And let me just check here. Okay. Okay. Yesterday we were checking about um, words for you to, to speak about a process. Do you remember? It's like, for example, when you say, first you open the door. Then you go to the parking. And then uh, words like that. Do you remember that? Okay, today. Very nice. Thank you, Carla. So tonight we're going to start with a different topic. Okay. Vamos a iniciar con un topic different. These are clauses, okay? Uh, and we are going to, to speak about the what clauses. There are many, many uh, kinds of clauses. So the first thing that we need to know is what is a clause? So a clause is a part of a sentence that includes at least one subject and one verb, okay? So in general, a clause is something like that. So the subject and the verb. The different is that whenever we use clauses, almost always we're going to have two ideas together. So in this case, it's just a simple clause, but the, the clauses that we're going to check are going to be two ideas together. So, Let's see, okay, we are going to read. Everybody, let's repeat, please. So, a what clause is a type of noun clause? Or a free relative clause that begins with the word what? in a declarative sentence, one of the most common applications for these clauses, a what clause which functions as a noun may serve as the subject. 
usually followed by a form of the verb be. Subject complement or object of a sentence. So that is the explanation for a what clause, okay? So a what clause is a type of noun clause or a free relative clause that begins with the word what. In a declarative sentence, one of the most common applications for these clauses, a what clause, which functions as a noun may serve as a subject, usually followed by the form of the verb be. So these are like the most common things. So we're going to practice the readings, okay? So let's see how it goes. Remember that the past tenses are going to be different. So for example, uh, when we say followed, followed, okay? That is going to be like that. Okay, so let's read. Roberto Emilio, could you please start reading? No, estoy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> a what clause is a type of snap clause or a free relative clauses that clause. begin clause that begins with the word what in a declarative sentence one of the most common application for this clause 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 clauses clause which function is a noun may serve of the subject usually follow it be a uh, from of the verb be followed by follow by by a uh, from of the verb be subject complement of object of a sentence very good perfect saul adalberto you are next um, okay. A what clause is a type of noun clause or a free relative clause that begins with a word that in a declarative sentence. One of the most common applications for this clause. A what clause which functions as a noun may serve, serve as the subject usually followed via form of the Follow. verb. Followed Follow. by. Followed by form of the verb be. Subject complement or object of a sentence. Very good, very nice. Jocelyn Castaneda. Okay. Um... A what clause is a type of noun clause or a free relative clause that be begins with the word what in a declarative sentence or one of the most common application for this clause. A what clause which functions as a noun may serve as the sure. suggest, serve as the subject usually follow by a form on the verb be, subject complement or a object of a sentence. Very good, perfect, that was very nice. Let's see, uh, Jeanette Angel. A what clause is the type, type of no clause or a free related clause? That begin with the word begins. what begins with the word what in the declar declarative sentence. One of the most common common application for the these clauses I what clause which function as a noun may serve as the subject usually followed with. Be followed a by. by a four of the verb be subject complement or subject of sentence. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you. Now, uh, Carlos Humberto. Okay, me escuchan, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 
a what clause is a type of noun clauses or a free relative clauses that begins with the word what in a declarative sentences one of the most common application for these clauses a what clauses which functions uh, as a noun may serve as the subject usually followed by a uh, form of the verb be subjects, complements, or objects to a sentence of a sentence. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, Mario Ernesto. A what clause is a, a type of noun clause or a figurative clause that begins with the word that word what in a declarative sentence one of the most common application for the scouts a what clause which function as a noun my serve as the subject usually followed by a form of the verb be subject complement or object of a sentence Okay, very good, perfect. Now let's see. Who hasn't? Saula Alberto. Usted ya leyó, verdad? Yeah, I remember. Good. Carla Mendoza. Okay. A what clause is a type of noun clause or a free relative clause that begins begins with the, begins with the word what? In a declarative sentence, one of the most common application for these clauses, a what clause which function has a noun, may serve has the subject usually followed by a form of the verb be, subject complement or subject of sentence. Very good, perfect, thank you. Uh, Elia Janira. Um, what clause in state of now clause or free reality clause that being with the word what in the clarity sentence of the most common application for the clause and what clause which function as, as now may serve as subject usually followed be a by form, um, before of the verb subject complement um, or object um, sentence very good nice now uh kevin ramiro Uh, uh, what's closer in a type of uh, one closer or free relative close? What did with word one uh, in declarative sentence of on of one. Then one most com common application? Fourteen closing, a one closing chip function as a no my servant as the object subject usually such a usually usually for or usually for our wing for by for a for by for of verb, objective complement, or objective of sentence. Okay, very good, perfect. Uh, Laura Fuentes. Hello. Hello. Eh, voy entrando, teacher. Tengo que leer el párrafo. Uh, please, yes, Laurita. Okay. Um, a what clause is a type 
of noun clause or a free relative clause that begin with begins. the word begins with the word has in a declarative sentence on of the most one of the most one of the most come application for this clause a uh, what clause with function functions as a noun may serve so, as the serve as the subject usually followed follow be a followed be a from Bye. of the uh, from of the verb be subject complete or object of a sentence. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, Gabriel Esaú. Hello, Gabriel. Not possible, okay. Uh, Jocelyn, usted ya leyó, ¿verdad? Okay, let's see who else is missing. Carla Ivania. Okay, teacher. Uh, our clause is a type of now clause or a free relative clause that begin with the word what? I am declarative sentences, one of the most common application for this. Close our close with fusion as a noun may serve it as the subject, usually followed by and for of the verb be subject complement or object of a sentence. Very good, perfect. Now, Carla Daniela. Not possible. Francisco Acuña. Not possible. Everybody's having dinner. <laughs> Marilyn Alejandra, creo que no puede tampoco, ¿verdad? Let's see. Abel Edenilson. Okay, teacher. I what clauses is a type are no clauses or a free relative clauses what begin with the word what in a declarative sentence one of the most common application for the clauses I what clauses which function as a noun may serve as the subject usually follow with be a form of follow the verb by be Followed by a form of the verb be subject complement or subject or, or a sentence. Okay, very good. Nice. Uh, Elizabeth Hernandez. Okay. Uh, what clause is a type of non clause or a free relative clause? What begins with the word that? With a declarative sentence, one of the most common application for this clause, I want clause which function has a noun, may serve is the subject, usually followed by a form of the verb be, subject complement or object of a sentence. Very good, nice. Now, Cristina Cerritos. Okay, Le escucho. Yes, 
Yeah, 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 please. The sentence. Sentence. One of the sentence. Okay. serve Perfect. Thank you, everybody. So very nice. Um, vamos a ir practicando un poco de la lectura en este en este módulo porque es importante eh, uh, pulir un poco la pronunciación. Eso es muy importante. Allá cuando anden en Nueva York, verdad. Si una palabra no la dicen bien, a veces los gringos que no hablan español no nos entienden. ¿verdad? Nosotros aquí nos entendemos porque como hablamos español es como que ah me quiso decir esto, verdad. Pero y ya alguien que no habla español, they don't get it. Si no usamos la pronunciación adecuada o oh, si no eh, usamos la gramática adecuada o el orden de las palabras o something like that, sometimes they don't understand. So, perdido, ¿verdad? O oh, a veces también nosotros les decimos otra cosa porque hay palabras que tienen pronunciación parecida, but not the same. O se escriben igual, pero, uh, o parecido, pues, pero la pronunciación cambia. So, that's why it's very important. So, for example, a what clause? Casi todas las palabras, no todas, pero casi todas las palabras que terminan en E, la E no se dice. Clause. ¿Ok? It's a type, vea otra vez, type of noun clause with a free relative clause that begins. Esa palabra sería begins with Recordemos el sonido de la TH. TH sounds are very important. With the word what. In a declarative, igual no se dice la E, sentence, one of the most common applications for this, esa palabra no se dice this, sino que se dice these. These clouds. En inglés hablamos mucho con muchos músculos de la cara, ¿verdad? De, no solo la boca, la pronunciación. Porque no es lo mismo decir this que this. It's not the same. Así como no es lo mismo decir ship que ship. It's not the same. Ship, barco. Ship, oveja. So, the pronunciation is similar, but it's not the same. Okay? A what clause? Which functions? Las S también al final de la palabra son importantes. Functions no es lo mismo que function. Functions as a noun may serve as the subject. Usually followed, no sé si ya vieron los pasados, ¿verdad? Pero los pasados tienen tres tipos de pronunciación. Ese sería usually followed by a form of the verb be. Subject complement or object of a sentence. Entonces, the pronunciation in English is very, very, very important. Because uh, the words, I mean, whenever you speak, it has to be very clear, very, very important. Lo mismo pasa en español, la verdad, es que es lo mismo, ¿verdad? O sea, hay personas que, por ejemplo, el número cinco, ¿verdad? Dicen five, five, pero five es otra palabra, no es, o, o podemos traducirla de una manera diferente. No es lo mismo five que five, con V al final. La E no se dice, pero la V sí, five. Si yo digo five, es como que se estuviera diciendo en español cinco. Imagínense si estaría en realidad diciendo, deme cinco de eso. No, verdad. So, we need to be careful on the pronunciation. So, that's why we are checking this. Entonces, vamos a tratar de siempre repetir y poner atención en estos pequeños detalles. Y poco a poco vamos a ir puliendo. And also, uh, otra ventaja de las readings es que podemos tener vocabulario nuevo. 
Entonces, por eso chequeamos algunas palabras, el significado. So, for example, what is type? Anybody? What is type? In Spanish. Tipo. Tipo, very good. So, a what clause is a type of noun clause. What is noun? What is a noun? Hello? Is there anybody there? Bueno, quizá no la conocen. No, noun. No, 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 no. Perdón. Como que si son este, números que, que se pueden contar. Algo que puede... Ok, fíjese de que no, quizás cuando vieron los no, counters. Pero como... nombres. Ah, ok, pronombre tampoco. Quizás eso es lo que pasa a veces también que no conocemos las palabras. Entonces es bien importante conocer el significado para saber cómo usarla, ¿verdad? Noun es nombre, pero es nombre en gramática, como el nombre en la oración, ¿verdad? Something like that. No es lo mismo que name. Name es nombrar algo, ¿verdad? Llamarlo por su nombre. Noun es nombre, pero como decir sujeto, nombre, verbo, something like that. Noun. And then it says, or a free relative clause. Uh, what is, well, free, what is free? Libre. Libre, Libre. very good. También puede ser gratis y muchas cosas. Eso pasa también en inglés. Las palabras a veces no es que tengan más significados. Nosotros lo que hacemos es que tenemos diferentes usos de las palabras. Free, sí, puede ser libre. Free también puede ser gratis. Libre de pagar, ¿verdad? Significa casi lo mismo, solo que nosotros decimos gratis en español. So, cuando traducimos, yo sé que a veces en los niveles básicos todavía traducimos, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, eso nos pasa a veces. Mire, ¿por qué esto es así y no es de esta manera? Si ya me habían dicho eso, ¿verdad? So, sometimes that happens. Pero lo que tenemos que ir recordando es que las palabras tienen usos diferentes, no significados sino usos, entonces por ejemplo, pues yo por ahí tengo un diccionario que es bastante nice y la palabra get tiene tres páginas de uso no es lo mismo decir get in, que get up que get down que otras cosas, verdad que se puede decir con el mismo verbo que es get entonces it's very important that part, entonces eh, vamos a ir viendo más adelante un par de ejercicios para ir Relacionando esas cosas. So, free relative clouds that begins. What is begins? Comenzar. Very good. Comenzar. With the word what. In a declarative sentence, one of the most common applications for these clauses. What clause which functions as a noun? Que es as a... Como. Como, very good, functions as a noun. Okay. May, what is may? Puede. Puede, very good, possibility. This is different from can, because can is ability and may is possibility. May serve as the subject. Usually, what is usually? Usualmente. Very good, usualmente. Subject, what is subject? Sujeto. Sujeto. Muy bien. El que hace la acción en la oración. Very good. Followed by. ¿Qué dice ahí? Seguido de. Seguido de o seguido por, ¿verdad? A form of the verb be. Subject complement. O sea, que puede estar seguido por. A form of the verb be. A subject complement. Or object of a sentence. Quizá aquí hay que parar un poco y pensar qué es subject y qué es object. Qué, pues, sujeto y objeto. Pero ¿saben cuándo se utiliza o qué es una o la otra? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre subject y object? Solo para saber, ¿verdad? Porque a veces nos topamos con diferentes palabras. 
Y tenemos que saber si es sujeto u objeto. Do you know the difference? ¿Saben la diferencia entre esos dos? Ok, if you don't know, I will tell you. El sujeto es quien realiza la acción. So, for example, when you say, um, she goes to the park. Entonces, she is the subject because she realizes, she does the action. Ok, pero si ella dice, va, por ejemplo, esta oración. Si yo digo, um, she gives the book to me. El sujeto es she, porque ella realiza la acción. She gives the book to me. Ese me ya no es I, sino que es me. Ese me es el objeto. El objeto es quien recibe la acción. Entonces, a veces en una oración hay sujeto y hay objeto. ¿Verdad? No es lo mismo decir I que decir me. Lo mismo pasa en español, ¿verdad? Dámelo, dámelo a mí. No decimos dámelo a yo. So it's exactly, exactly the same. So the word is different because it denotes something different. Entonces, por eso las palabras, el uso de las palabras es importante, ¿verdad? Para que no vayamos a hablar de una manera incorrecta. Nos van a entender posiblemente, pero it's not going to be correct, ¿verdad? Como cuando los gringos dicen, yo comer propuse mucho, o sea, le entendíamos, ¿verdad? Pero it's not correct. We know that it's not correct. Okay, so this is the introduction of a what clause. Do you have any questions here? For example, the pets is mm -hmm. es lo mismo. Sí, una mascota puede ser sujeto quien realiza la acción o objeto quien recibe la acción. So it's, uh, it's going to be the same rule, la misma regla aplicada. Incluso para los objetos, ¿verdad? Usted puede decir, uh, el, el objeto de un verbo puede ser, uh, de hecho, un objeto, una lámpara, una pared. So, it's going to be the same rules. Good. Any other question? Si hay preguntas, recordemos preguntar. O sea, it's very, very important that si tenemos alguna pregunta, aunque ustedes piensen que es algo chiquito, que la hagamos, ¿verdad? Porque es importante entender, pues, y luego, pues, practicar. Así es de que ese sentido que están un poco tímidos, ya vamos a echarnos la platicada para ver cómo se nos quita eso. Aquí hay algunos ejemplos. So, everybody, let's repeat. What I want you to do is to go to the Turkish consulate in Genoa. Ask for the counsel and give him a message for me. Will you do that? Esta es una oración larga. No tienen que ser tan largas las cláusulas. Pues esta es una larga. Entonces, what I want you to do. Ahí está la primera parte. ¿Se acuerdan que decíamos que llevaba el verbo to be, verdad? Ahí está, is. What I want you to do is. Esta es una cláusula con what. Lo que quiero que hagas es. So first is the introduction. Si ustedes se dan cuenta, hay, bueno, aquí hay más de una idea, pero uh, la cláusula podría terminar en Genoa. What I want you to do is to go to the Turkish consulate in Genoa. Esa ya es la cláusula. What? Lo demás simplemente es un complemento, que es parte de la conversación. Pero la cláusula aquí es, what I want you to do is to go to the Turkish consulate in Genoa. Two ideas together. That is a clause. Esa es una cláusula. Dos ideas juntas. Una unida a la otra. A veces de manera directa o a veces de manera indirecta. So, what I want you to do is... Esa la podemos usar de muchas maneras, ¿verdad? What I want you to do is to speak English. What I want you to do is to cook for me. What I want you to do... I mean, that is very, very common. Okay. Any questions with the first part? ¿Alguna pregunta con esto? No. Okay. The rest is a compliment. Okay. Y ahí también hay lo que les explicaba. No es el tema de ahora, pero igual hay que irlo viendo, analizando. Lo que me gustaría es que vieran cuando estamos leyendo 
que identificar en detalles. Hay detalles pequeñitos que son muy importantes. Por ejemplo, him. So, what I want you to do is to go to the Turkish consul in Genoa, ask for the consul and give him a message from me. Esas dos, him y me, son object, no son sujetos. Si fuera sujeto, sería he, pero no es he, es him. Con eso yo estoy denotando que es quien recibe, en este caso, uh, un mensaje. ¿verdad? So, él recibe el mensaje, él recibe la acción, him. Okay. The second one, la siguiente, money was what I wanted. Other people's money. Entonces, eso es una cláusula que va separada por un punto. Sometimes the clauses can be separated by a period or a comma. A veces algunas cláusulas, la mayoría de cláusulas, se pueden separar por puntos o por comas. Más adelante vamos a ver más cláusulas. Okay? So this is a, another one. Money was what I wanted. Other people's money. Okay? The next one, it says, what I wanted was impossible. It was a wish for the whole affair to have been imaginary. Igual estaba separada por un punto. What I wanted was impossible es la primera parte. Y luego explica qué es lo que era imposible. Right? It was a wish for the whole affair to have been imaginary. Okay. La última también está separada por un punto. What I wanted were new experiences. I wanted to go out into the world and test myself to move from this to that. To explore as much as I could. ¿Ok? Entonces van separadas. Uh, let's check some pronunciation questions. Do you have pronunciation questions in this reading? Any pronunciation questions? After the new experiences? New experiences. I, I wanted. wanted. Uh, say, wanted. Uh, I, you can say wanted. The most common in American English is wanted. In British wanted. English is wanted. Wanted. Okay. Entonces, también más adelante vamos a ver un par de ejercicios donde se compara. British English con American English. Nos conviene más el American, pues, porque estamos más cerca y nos vamos más para allá, ¿verdad? So, pero es importante saber algunas palabras que son diferentes, no solo en pronunciación, a veces en la palabra itself es diferente. Por ejemplo, en inglés americano decimos the apartment, pero en inglés británico decimos the flat. ¿Qué significan los dos? El apartamento, ¿verdad? Entonces, si un día se van para allá, para Inglaterra, eh, it's different sometimes, okay? And pronunciation is also different. Water, water is different. Entonces, igual, ¿verdad? Vamos a ir viendo algunas cosas así. Eh, any other pronunciation question? Pronunciation. Luego vemos meaning, de significado. I know that there are questions. Any other questions? Ah, entonces le voy a preguntar yo y me van a decir, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá. So, ya lo vamos a leer. De hecho, creo que lo vamos a leer ahorita. Lo voy a leer yo una vez más. No lo vamos a leer todo. Cada quien va a ir leyendo un ejercicio, un ejemplo. So, hay cuatro, déjenme ver, uno, dos, tres, cuatro ejercicios. El segundo es el más cortito, ahí a la suerte. So, lo leo todo para que vean the pronunciation again. What I want you to do is to go to the Turkish consulate in Genoa. Ask for the consul and give him a message from me. Will you do that? Money was what I wanted. Other people's money. What I wanted was impossible. It was a wish for the whole affair to have been imaginary. What I wanted were new experiences. I wanted to go out into the world and test myself to move from this to that. 
to explore as much as I could. Very good. Ah, vamos a ver entonces si lo podemos leer nice. Eh, Roberto Emilio me dice que siempre quiere iniciar el aceite que le vamos a dar la palabra con el primero. Ah, cualquiera, yo le escojo o usted me dice cuál. No, en orden, la primera. Ah. Ahí voy. <coughs> what, a, what I want you to What I want you to do is to go to the Turkey consul in Genova, ask for the consul and give him a message messages message from from me. Will you do that? Good. Next one is Carla Daniela. Okay. Money was what I wanted. All the people's money. Very good. Next one is for Abel Adenilson. I lost it, teacher. I'm sorry? I lost it there. Ah, no, estaba poniendo atención. Ajá, lo caché. So, it's the third one, la tercera. So they said what oh. I wanted was impossible. Uh -huh. It was a witch for the full of fire to have been imaginary. Ok, le damos la toda desde el principio. What I want was impossible. What I wanted. What I wanted what's impossible. It was a wish for the full of fire to have been imaginary. Good, very nice. So the next one is going to be for Carlos Humberto. No, sorry, no lo había escuchado, que me estaba este, escribiendo mi jefe. Bien. Ah, ok. La última Bien. le toca. Eh, la última oración. Yes, please. Ok. Sería, what I wanted were new experiences. Want... Experiences. Ok. I want to go out into the world and test myself. To more from this to that, to explore as much as I could. Very good, nice. Next one is Jeanette Angel. La primera, teacher. Yes, please. Uh, what I what I want you you to do is to go to the Turks King Consulate in Genoa. Ask for the consul and give him message a message from me. Will you do that? Very nice. Next, the next one is for Mario Ernesto. The second. Yes, please. Money was what I wanted. I wanted other people's money. Good. Next one is going to be for Saul Adalberto. Okay. And uh, what I wanted was impossible. It was a wish for the world of fire to have been imaginary. Very nice. The next one is for Carla Mendoza. Bonjour, Carla Mendoza. Well, yo creo que anda trayendo pupusas también. Let's see. Then it's going to be Gabriel Esaú. Mm, anda con Carla. Laura Fuentes. Eh, what I wanted were new experience. I wanted to experiences. I wanted to go out into the world and test myself to move from this to that to explore it as much as I could. Okay, very nice. The next one is for Elia Janira.
Hello, is Janida? Not possible. Jocelyn Castaneda. Okay. What I want you to do is to go to the Turkish consulate in Genova. Uh -huh. Ask for the consul and give him a message from me. Will you do that? Okay, very nice. The next one, oops, me pasé. So the next one is going to be for uh, Kevin Ramiro. What is what you do to you eat to work of Turi, Turkish? Tur Turkish. Mm -hmm. Turkish. Consultly. Uh, Consulate. Consulate in Yonai. Uh, as for the consul uh, and give it mes messenger message for me we from you me. do mm -hmm. from for me from we from me we you do that. okay very good perfect next one is for Ivania. Okay, uh, money was one I wanted or I wanted. Sure. Lo puede decir como usted quiera. Americano, inglés americano es wanted, inglés británico es wanted. Okay, other people, money. Very good, nice. Francisco Acuña, next one. Not possible. Marilyn Alejandra. Estaba trabajando, me dijo, creo que no se va a poder participar. Ok. Um, let's see. Elizabeth Hernández, then. Teacher, ¿cuál? La tercera, please. Tercera. Ok. What I wanted was impossible. It was a wish for the world. After to have been imaginary. Very good, nice. Cristina Cerritos, next one. Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, um, what is one word new experience? Experiences. Um, experiences. What is one word new? Experiences. Uh, I wanted to go out into the world, into the world, and test myself. Así sería, teacher. Myself. Myself. My souls. My souls. Okay. To move from this to that, to explore as much as as I could. I could. Okay, very good, nice. Now we're going to check vocabulary. So what I want you to do is to go to the Turkish consulate. What is Turkish consulate? Uh -huh. El consulado de Turquía. El consulado de Turquía, verdad. Very good. In Genoa, que es Genoa, verdad. Es un, para una parte de Italia. Ask for consul. What is ask? Pregunta. Pregunte, que vaya a preguntar por el cónsul and give him a message from me. Creo que lo demás está claro. Will you do that? Will, ¿qué es Will? Como ir. Está en futuro. Futuro, ¿verdad? Es futuro. Entonces, Will siempre va con un verbo. Ah, very good, nice. The other one says, money was what wanted. So, um, creo que está clara. No sé si entienden. Hay pregunta con esa oración. Money was what wanted. Dinero es lo que quería. Dinero es lo que quería. So something like that. O era lo que quería. Es porque was is in past. Dinero era lo que quería. Other people's money. Creo que lo demás está claro. What wanted was impossible. It was a wish. What is wish? Deseo. Deseo. Como cuando ustedes dijeron, 
desearía hablar inglés. Y aquí estamos, ¿verdad? Ya hablando inglés. For the whole affair. So, what is whole? Como entero, todo. Entero, completo. Very good. Affair es un asunto o algo por el estilo, ¿verdad? To have been imaginary. O sea, que algo así como eh, desearía que todo hubiese sido imaginario. Todo el asunto, ¿verdad? Que no hubiese pasado. One want to wear new experiences. Ah, eso está nice. ¿Alguien sabe qué dice en esa oración entera? Lo que quería eran nuevas experiencias. Very good, perfect. Lo que quería eran nuevas experiencias. Como las que van a tener cuando puedan inglés y anden por todo el mundo hablando inglés. Nice. And then it says, I wanted to go out into the world. De hecho, eso es lo que dice, ¿verdad? And test myself. Pronunciation, world. No es lo mismo world que word. Word es palabra, ¿verdad? World con L es el mundo. To move from this to that, to explore as much as I could. ¿Tienen preguntas? Do you have any questions in this one? It is clear. Ok, claro como la horchata. Ok, I have a few more. So, estas son un poquito más largos porque yo sé que les encanta leer. So, um, lo voy a leer y vean la pronunciación y lo vamos a volver a leer. Vamos a leerlo otra vez, ¿verdad? O sea, son diferentes. Uh, what should not be forgotten is that diplomatic and military strategies must reinforce each other as part of a coherent policy. Please allow Miss Manners gently to suggest that before one attempts to improve upon tradition, perhaps one should find out what that tradition is. What troubles me about becoming Asian American is not that it entails associating with a certain kind of person who, in some respects, is like me. What troubles me is associating with a certain kind of person whose similarity to me is defined on the primary basis of pigmentation, hair color, eye shape, and so forth. Okay, esta tiene, todos tienen palabras rebuscadas, ¿verdad? Que es como para ver así diferentes uh, vocabulary. Creo que este no lo vamos a leer porque se nos va a ir mucho tiempo, pero sí vamos a chequear pronunciation. So do you have pronunciation questions first? Pronunciation questions. Yo sé que tienen preguntas, hagámoslas. Is the after gently? Two. Uh, gently. 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 Very And good. I'm sorry? Suggest. 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 Very good. Any yeah. other questions? Uh -huh. Pronunciation For, question. Forgotten. 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 Se puede decir forgotten, forgotten or forgotten. Forgotten. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other question? And basis. Basis. Uh, basis. ¿Dónde? ¿En cuál está esa? Uh, what, uh, Uh, abajo al final, basis of the pigmentation. Uh, basis. Very pigmentation. Good. pigmentation. 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 Very good. Pigmentation. Uh -huh. Hair. 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 Uh -huh. Any other? Picture. Perhaps. Uh -huh. Perhaps, yeah, perhaps. Teacher, uh -huh. um, what trouble, así. Uh, trouble, ¿en cuál está trouble. eso? Um, I, what trouble means uh, association. Trouble, yeah, yeah. troubles, yeah, troubles. Uh, okay. Okay. Any other? Yeah, and the first one, 
Eh, when it says military strategy, strategies, o como lo pronuncio. Ah, strategies. Strategies. Okay. Any other? No. Okay. Oh, so maybe the chair of the first clause. I'm sorry, which one? And the first clause uh, the of a coherent. Coherent, yeah, coherent. Teacher associating, associate, association. Associating. Associating. Okay, gracias. Good. Thank you. Any other pronunciation question? Ok, entonces, aún con palabras así rebuscadas en el futuro, la meta es hablar así rápido en Nice Black. For example, voy a leer solo el último. What troubles me about becoming Asian American is not that it entails associating with a certain kind of person who, in some respects, is like me. What troubles me is associating with a certain kind of person whose similarity to me is defined on the primary basis of pigmentation, hair color, eye shape, and so forth. Entonces, imaginémonos cuando demos allá en Nueva York y nos hablen así, es como que tenemos que entenderle y contestarle, ¿verdad? Si yo lo leo así, teacher invocó algo sospechoso. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a, yeah, it's a process, es un proceso, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahorita a mí me gusta traer palabras nuevas, mucho vocabulario, por eso me gustan los readings, um, para que vayan eh, usándola. Lo importante del vocabulario nuevo es no solo saber qué significa, sino utilizarlo. Lo que yo les sugiero, hay palabras que no se van a usar muy comúnmente, pero las que ustedes crean que van a estar utilizando, hagan relaciones con ellas, traten de implementarlas en su día a día, ¿verdad? para pues que se les quede. ¿verdad? Now we're going to check uh, meaning, vocabulary meaning. What is should? Debería. Debería, okay. What should not be forgotten? What is forgotten? Olvidado. Olvidado. Very good. What is, let's see, must? Debe. Debe. It's, it's uh, something that is obligation, right? Reinforce. What is reinforce? No sé. Maybe reforzar. Reforzar, very good. Reinforce. What is each? Cada. Cada, very good. Each other as part of a coherent. Esa es igual que en español, ¿verdad? Coherente. The pronunciation is the one that is different. Coherent. What is policy? Política. Política, así como de empresa, ¿verdad? So. Then it says, please allow Miss Manners gently. What is gently? Como educado. Gentil. Gentilmente. Very good. To suggest that before one attempts, what is attempts? Attempt. Okay. Attempts es como intentar. Okay. Attempts. To improve, what is improve? Mejorar. Mejorar, very good. Upon, what is upon? Arma, no. Oh. Upon es una preposición. También esta es una de las cosas que me gustaría que empezaran a poner atención en cualquier lectura que ustedes vean. ¿Verdad? Porque en inglés hay muchas, muchas más preposiciones que en español. Y hay que saber cuándo usarlas. Esta open es igualito que on, solo que es un poquito más fancy, ¿verdad? De la, de la tradición, en this case. Perhaps, what is perhaps? No sé si era sin embargo. Mm, no. Quizás. 
Quizás. Como, hay una canción que habla de eso. No sé si la han escuchado. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. So, quizás. Uh, then it says one should find out. ¿Qué es find out? Es como descubrir. Descubrir. Very good. Nice. What tradition is? What troubles? What is troubles? Problema. Problema. Ahora se da cuenta que aquí no es, no es un nombre, sino que es un verbo, porque lleva la S, está en tercera persona, ¿verdad? What troubles me about becoming Asian American? O sea, es como lo que más me molesta vendría a ser. Entonces, ahí donde vemos que no es que signifique una cosa la palabra. Tiene usos diferentes. ¿Ok? So, eso pasa mucho. O sea, cuando traducimos se pierden porque nosotros en español lo decimos con unas palabras y en inglés se dice con otras. Una vez alguien me preguntó, ella se fue y yo le digo, me preguntó cómo era en inglés y yo le dije, she went y el se, pues eso en inglés no va, no existe, no hay, ¿verdad? So, nosotros hacemos, cuando traducimos hacemos un, hacemos match del idioma, ¿verdad? Así lo decimos nosotros y así lo dicen ellos, pero de, de, no tenemos que ir despegándonos del español poco a poco, ¿ok? Uh, becoming, what is becoming? Comenzando. No, becoming es transformando, convirtiéndose. Good. Entails. What is entails? Envuelve, se envuelve. Que, que algo envuelve alguna situación, por ejemplo. Entails. Uh, associating with a certain kind. What is kind? Tipo. Tipo. Entonces, esta es similar a la otra. Type, ¿verdad? Type and kind are very similar words. Of person who in some respects is like me. What troubles me is associating with a certain kind of person whose. A ver, ¿qué es whose? ¿Quién? Ahí, fíjese que es parecido a quién, pero es como de quién. Ese es un posesivo. Es lo mismo que who, pero en posesivo. Okay. whose similarity to me is defined on the primary basis of pigmentation, creo que saben que es, hair color, color del cabello, eye shape, la forma de los ojos, and so forth, ¿qué sería and so forth? Y como sí, ¿verdad? And so forth. Ok, no lo vamos a leer porque pues hay que moverlo, ¿verdad? hay que hacer otras cosas. Do you have any other question before we move on? No questions. Good. So, we often do this if we want to introduce a new topic, to give a reason, instruction, or explanation, or to correct something that has been said or done. In the following examples, the information in focus is in italics. What I'd like you to work on is the revision exercise on the website. Isa arrived two hours late. What had happened was that his bicycle chain had broken. We've only got this email bookcase. Will that do? No, what I was looking for was something much bigger and stronger. Entonces, la explicación acá, ¿verdad? Es como, ¿cuándo se utiliza? When we use what cloud. So, when we introduce a new topic. Or to give a reason. Para dar una razón, para introducir un nuevo tema. Instruction, para dar una instrucción. Or explanation, or explicar algo. Or to correct something that has been said or done. O para corregir algo que ha sido dicho o hecho. ¿Ok? Y hay algunos ejemplos de eso, ¿verdad? What I'd like you to work on is the revision exercise on the website. Esa es una cláusula, ¿verdad? Bien clara. Uh, con, con what y ahí lleva el verbo is. The next one says, what is a right to our state? What had happened was that, y ahí da una razón por la que Isa llegó tarde, dos horas. 
Okay, his bicycle chain had broken. Se le rompió la cadena de bicicleta. We've only got this small bookcase. Will that do? No, what I was looking for was something much bigger and stronger. Ahí le está corrigiendo. No, lo que yo estaba buscando era... So, entonces, para esas cosas es para que se utiliza el, uh, las cláusulas con what. Aquí se ven bien complicadas, pero en el libro pues hay unos ejemplos mucho más básicos. Quería traer un poco más extenso esto, pero eh, en el libro que vamos a ver uh, es is a different thing, ¿ok? And actually we're going to go there right now. Ok, so here is the book. So, it says unit one. I will be able to introduce important information about a product. Number one, it says, let's start. What are three things you need to have to a product manufacturer? Okay, everybody question. What are three things you need to have to a product manufacturer? Anybody wants to answer? Raw materials. Raw materials, very good. Number two? Uh, human labor. Human labor, definitely. One more. Machinery. Machinery. Very good, perfect. You remember, that's nice. Ok, como hacemos usualmente, yo digo y ustedes chequean la pronunciación. Um, voy a ir despacio para que repitan, ¿verdad? Y luego vamos a hacer la conversación. So, Kurt, do you know what you need to have a good product? Huh? That's a good question. I think that what I will do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Okay, that is the conversation. So do you have pronunciation questions? Pronunciation questions. No pronunciation questions. Very good. Entonces, practiquemos. Siempre en parejas, ¿verdad? Uh, we're going to start with Carla Daniela and Carlos Ulberto. Okay. Kurt, do you know what you need to have a good product? Uh, that's important. I think that what I want to have only a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is, is that your product has to be in the best in the market. Because of the competence? Okay. Yes, you know, friend of mine has only factory. What my friend did was to get fresh money from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Very good. Perfect. Now, Abel Edenilson and Roberto Emilio. Okay, teacher. Uh, here, do you know what you need to have a good product? Uh, that's a good question. I think that what I will do uh, is have quality quality in a product. What do you mean? 
what I am saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And at the same time, hmm. he at the same time, he contributes to this, this people. These people. These people. Very good, perfect. Now, Jeanette and Carla Mendoza. First, do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that what I could do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a on a factory. What my friend did was to get fresh on it from local farmers. So great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Very good. Nice. Now, Mario Ernesto and Saúl Adalberto. Yes. Okay. Mario, uh, yes, I am. Yes. Do you, yeah. Here. Do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that what I will do is have quality, quality in a product. What do you mean? What I am saying, what I'm saying is that your product has to be best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. So great. And at the same time, he contributes to the deaf people. Contributes to the people. Contributes to the deaf people. Very good. Perfect. Nice. Now, Cristina and uh, Janira, creo que no puede. Uh, and then. Oh, yes, sorry. teacher. Okay. Perfect. Entonces, Cristina and Janira. Okay, teacher. Empiezo yo, entonces, o usted, o usted. Cristina puede uh, iniciar. Ok. Here, do you know what you need to have a good product? Of that good question. I think that that what a good do you have quality in product? What do you mean? What in saying in that your product? has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, uh, because of the competence, uh, yes, you know, a friend of mine has an only factory. What me friend, this my was friend. my friend, Madrid was to get fresh honey for local format. Song. Así sería, teacher. Songs or song. Sounds. Sounds great. Sounds. Sounds great. And um, at the same time, he contributes. You contribute to these people. These people. These people. Very good, okay. perfect, thank you. Now, Gabriel, is possible for you, Gabriel? So. 
Not possible. Laura, is possible for you? I teacher. Okay, so Laura and Jocelyn Castaneda. Here, do you know what you need to have a good product? product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that what I will do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I am saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mini Mine. Has, has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And uh, this something he contributes to these people. Okay, very good, perfect. So now, Ivania and uh, Francisco uh, Acuña. Is possible for you, Francisco? Not possible. Abel Edenilson. Okay. Otra vez, teacher. Ah, ya pasó. Sí, sí. Okay, <laughs> déjame ver entonces. Ivania sería entonces con Elizabeth Hernández. Okay, teacher. Elizabeth. Okay. Okay. Empiece a usted si gusta o yo. Empiece usted. Okay. Here, do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, I know a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sound great. And at the same time, he contrib contributes to these people. Very good. Perfect. That's nice. So now, uh, Kevin Ramiro. And, bueno, vamos a repetir porque, pues, ya no hay más compañeros. Le va a ayudar Jocelyn Castaneda. Ok. okay. Comienzo yo. Ah, ok. Um, Kier, do you know what do you need to have a good product? Oh, oh. The how do go to question I Kita what what do you is having quality quality I product quality what do you mean what in such is what you product I from say uh, I want you product uh, to be and best in the market because of the comp competence I get it yes you you know uh, a friend of uh, money mine factory what my um, what my freedom it was to wait and first money from local farming. Sound great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Very good. Perfect. Nice. Let's check some vocabulary. So, so Skir, do you know what you need to have a good product? Um, that's a good question. I think. What is think? I think. 
Yo pienso. Very good. Yo pienso. I think that what I will do is to have quality. What is quality? Calidad. Calidad. What do you mean? ¿Qué dicen esa pregunta? ¿Qué quieres decir? ¿Qué quieres decir? What do you mean? Esa es bien común en inglés. What I'm saying. ¿Y esa qué dice? Lo que estoy diciendo. Ajá, lo que estoy diciendo es así como que entendeme, ¿verdad? Is that your product has to be the best in the market because of the competence. I get it. Yes, I get it. Como entiendo. Lo entiendo. Very good. Yes, you know, a friend of mine. ¿Qué es mine? Mío. Mío, ¿verdad? Que es diferente a my. So, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What is honey? Miel. Miel, very good. So, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey. A ver, sería, uh, ¿qué sería get fresh honey? Conseguir miel fresca. Miel fresca, very good. From local farmers, ¿y ahí? Eh, granjeros locales. De granjeros locales. Very good. Sounds great también es muy común. ¿Qué quiere decir sounds great? Suena genial. Suena genial. Suena genial. Como cuando decimos un sketch chivo, vean. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Entonces, creo que ahí estamos. Do you have any other question in the conversation? Questions. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher, eh, saying es, es, así se pronuncia, saying. 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 Say. Mm -hmm. O sea que no se pronuncia la Y. Say, Lo que say, pasa es que say. sí se pronuncia, pero la, cuando se separan las sílabas en inglés, no aquí, se separan de una manera sus, diferente. Sus, okay, o sea, aquí okay. lo primero que yo digo es say, say, y después digo in, saying. Ok, teacher. Good. Any other question? No more questions. Okay, so now we're going to do the exercise here. There are two questions according to the conversation. So let's see how it goes. What does Kirk's friend do to have better honey quality? Uh -huh. um, he gets fresh honey. He get fresh honey from local farmers. Very good. Nice. Number two, do you consider that quality is important and why? Yeah. Oh, yes, but why? If you sell uh, a better product, you uh, have more sellers than very good so whenever you have better products everybody's going to be happy right your clients are going to be happy and you are going to sell more things very good perfect so let's move on and mañana vamos a empezar a ver los videos que están acá so aquí está la gramática ¿verdad? unit one how to use what clauses let's see um Abel Edenilso, hágame el favor de leer el cuadrito, please. Please read the chart. What close? Closes. Mm -hmm. What closes are of the subject of the verse be following by a word, phrase, or a clause? Continue, please.
Hello. Hello. Ah, ok. Sí, sería Hello. todo el cuadrito. Sí, es mi teléfono, pero eso no, como con interfaz. Se le cortó. Se le cortó, teacher, no se escucha. Ah, ok. Can you hear me now? Se escucha como cortado ah, okay. cuando habla, teacher. Ok. Let me just check something here. Ok. Yo oigo bien, teacher. Yo Le oigo bien. bien. Sí, a veces son las conexiones de internet. That happens. A veces aquí, a veces allá en su lado. So, that happens. Don't worry. Voy a leerlo yo. So, what clauses are often the subject of the verb be? Entonces, las clauses que o con que frecuentemente son el sujeto del verbo be. Ok. So, let me just check. For example, y lo podemos usar con una palabra, frase o una cláusula. So, for example, what you need, y hay un ejemplo con eso, ¿verdad? What you need is to have a great product. Entonces lo podemos usar con what you need. Lo que necesitas, so, what you need is, vea que ahí va el verbo to be. What you need is to have a great product. O podemos usar what my friend did, por ejemplo, lo que hizo mi amigo, ¿verdad? Did. What my friend did was get fresh ingredients. What I will do, también muy común, lo que yo haría. What I will do is sell my product in new markets. Okay. What I'm saying is, lo que te digo es, o sea, lo que te trato de decir, ¿verdad? What I'm saying is, that is not an easy task. It's kind of difficult, right? Entonces, esos son de los cuatro más comunes. Como les decía, ya lo que yo les traje es un poco más complejo, pero esto es mucho más fácil. So, we have four different ways for you to do these clauses. So, what clauses, uh, what you need, what my friend did. Igual el sujeto puede ser diferente. Right? What she needs, what my mother did, what she will do. What she's saying is, so, eso también puede cambiar. Eso sería la base de las if clauses. Do you have questions with the what clauses? Recordemos que las cláusulas son como dos ideas juntas, ¿verdad? Por eso es, por ejemplo, what you need is, lo que necesitas es to have a great product, tener un gran producto. Son two ideas together. Questions, questions. No questions. Okay. We are going to do the exercise five. Okay. Vamos a complementar. Very good. Vamos a complementar. So select the best expression from the table in the section four. To complete the sentence. Entonces, de aquí vamos a traernos la que le pega, ¿verdad? Aquí a las oraciones. Les voy a dar unos minutos para que las puedan escribir tranquilos. Y luego las chequeamos juntos. Si tienen preguntas, me avisan.
Okay, everybody, let's check. So, who wants to share number one? Alguien que quiera decir número uno? Who wants to share? Okay. Uh, I think uh, my best friend just opened his own shop. What my friend did was open it in a good mode. Very good, perfect, that is correct. So my best friend just opened his own shop. What my friend did was open it in a good mode. Very nice. Number two, who wants to share number two? Anybody? Maybe what I will do. Ah, okay. So, um, number what two. What I will do is not the information. Yes. Mm. Yeah. What I will do. I'm sorry? I have different answer. What is your answer? Um, I wrote what you need. Very good. So, that is the correct answer. Many people want to start their own business. What you need is lots of information. So number two is what you need, okay? So what you need to open uh, your own business, you need a lot of information, so nice. Number three, I don't know where she has to start. Who wants to share number three? Anybody? What I am thinking. I'm sorry? Maybe what I am think is promote the product online. What I'm saying is. Okay, uh, and the rest of the class, what do you think? Number three, what I'm saying is. What I would do. Okay. What I'm saying is. Okay, so number three is I don't know where she has to start. And then what I will do is promote the products online. So number three is what I will do. Okay, so it's like a suggestion, right? What I will do is to promote the products online. Very good. Number four, es esta fácil porque solo una queda, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es la correcta? ¿Quién quiere decir la número cuatro? Number four. What I am saying is very good. So people don't buy new products because they can't. What I'm saying is there is no demand. Very good. That is it. Perfect. Do you have any questions? Alguna pregunta o duda? No, teacher. Okay. Okay. Vamos a hacer... sí. A ver, dígame. Número tres, ¿cuál es la respuesta? What I will do. Are you sure? Yes, porque diría, yo no sé dónde ella, I don't know where she has, no sé dónde ella tiene que iniciar. Lo que yo haría es promover los productos en línea. Si yo le pongo lo que estoy diciendo es, lo que estoy diciendo es promover los productos en línea. Dice que es, ¿cuál es What I will do. What I will do. Sí, porque si yo le pongo la otra, que era what I'm saying is, no tendría lógica, ¿verdad? Porque diría, eh, yo no sé dónde ella tiene que iniciar. Lo que estoy diciendo es promover los productos en línea. Me diría como, ah, I'm sorry. Eh, teacher. Ajá. Si de esa respuesta en la plataforma le vas a firmar, entonces. Es posible, pero la plataforma a veces está incorrecta, a veces están cambiados. A veces incluso hay palabras que no van, ¿verdad? O hay palabras mal escritas. So, sometimes... Sí, porque that en la plataforma la respuesta correcta a esa es what I, science, what I, oh. I am saying is. 
Very good. Sí, Está eso es, es algo que les comentaba ayer, ¿verdad? A veces en la plataforma hay ciertas situaciones que, que no, no están bien, ¿verdad? A veces incluso cuando escribimos las respuestas en las cajitas, si ponemos un espacio de más, un punto de más, un símbolo que se parece pero que no es, lo agarra incorrecto. Entonces, en la plataforma, pues, lo podemos poner uh, de la otra manera. That is not a problem. Pero, ¿cuál sería lo correcto entonces? Porque lo si... correcto sería, uh, what I will do. Ok. Very good. Any other question? No questions. Ok, vamos ahora a practicar nosotros. Tenemos pocos minutos, pero creo que alcanzamos. Eh, hagamos dos oraciones con cláusulas, con what. Lo que ustedes quieran escribir. Ok. What I want to do, what I wanted to do, what you need, what I need, what I will do, whatever you want to use. Dos nada más y luego compartimos con los compañeros. Les dejo en, ahí este, la, el libro para pues, que lo tengan, ¿verdad? De base. Y, eh, y luego lo revisamos todo. Si tienen preguntas, me avisan igual. Teacher, eh, no sé cómo poner, eh, por ejemplo, vaya, yo escribí, my sister have, ha, my sister want more money in her pupusería. What I would do is promote new, no sé si especialidad o, fa, o sabor de, de qué de pupusa, no sé cómo ponerlo. Lo puedo poner de las dos maneras, puede decir flavor, que sería sabor, o specialty, que sería especialidad. Cualquiera de las dos le pega. Thank you. Very good, very nice. Okay, have you finished already? Terminamos ya. Okay, let's check together. Vamos a iniciar con Janet Angel. What you what you need hard work. Y la otra es what I go to study very day. 
Ok, what I will do is to study every day is fine. La primera creo que le falta verbo. Okay, ¿Me la puede repetir la primera, please? Uh, what you do need, hard work. Ok, sería what you need to do is to work hard. Uh, al revés. Ajá, work primero y hard porque lo está describiendo el trabajo, es un adjetivo. Uh, sí, sí, y sí, le sí, falta sí. el verbo, que sería what you need to do is to work hard. Good, perfect, Janet. Thank you. Roberto Emilio, it's your turn. Todavía no. Ah, vaya, regreso con usted después. Carlos Humberto. No, de, no entendí mucho lo que tenía que hacer. Dos oraciones con la gra gramática que nosotros aprendimos ahora. Que sería what y alguna cláusula. Ah, está Así como estaban en el libro, así. Bueno, me cuesta un poquito todavía. Ah, pero si pero, preguntas eh, en el lapso de la pero, clase, pues puede preguntar, ¿verdad? Y revisamos. A ver, ¿cómo le quedaron? Bueno, que ahorita no, no lo he podido hacerlo por, por lo mismo me están para escribir de parte del trabajo tengo que contestar ah ok hagamos las juntas ahorita entonces juntos ¿cómo la haría? a ver sí. pensemos juntos sí, sí. Eh, un ejemplo, por lo menos. What you need to do is to practice English. Bueno, iniciamos con what, ¿verdad? Y podemos usar cualquiera de los cuatro ejemplos que vimos en el libro. Lo más común es what I want to, o what I need to, o what you need to, algo por el estilo. Y luego lo que necesita hacer, igual que en español, ¿verdad? Si yo le dijera uh, lo que necesita hacer, entonces hacer esto, ¿verdad? Is exactly, exactly like that. Okay, okay. Yeah, sería what I would. No, que ver. Se puede, what, what I would do. No, 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 mejor lo otro. What you need. What you need. What you need to. To drive better. Uh, sería. Uh, What you need to try better is learn more the instrument. Very good. That is fine. Una más. Otra más. What my friend did mm -hmm. uh, was a, a business online. Okay, very good. That is perfect. Entonces, se da cuenta solo de unir lo que, que, que eso es what you need to do, what I will do, y luego el complemento, and that's it. Good, perfect. Thank you, Carlos. Eh, pudo entrar a la plataforma, todo bien en la plataforma. Sí, sí. Okay. Good, perfect. Thank you. Now, Carla Mendoza. De hecho, ya había hecho la primera tarea, ¿ya? Yeah? Ah, okay, nice, perfect. Okay, teacher. Eh, no sé si, si yo lo entendí mal, pero yo hice como el contexto y luego las preguntas. Okay. Okay. The store does not sell fashionable clothes. What I would do? What I could do is publish the products in a magazine. Okay. Solo esa hecho. Very nice. That was very good. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Mario Ernesto. Not possible. Carla Daniela. Boy. My friend complains about gaining weight. What she needs is eat healthy and do exercise. Okay, good. 
second one, my sister have more, my, my sister want more money in her pupuseria. What I would do is promote new specialties. Very good, perfect, nice. Now, Saul Adalberto. Okay, and the first is my friend need approved mathematics. Okay. What my friend need is to study more. Okay, good. The second is I don't know where is my sock. No, that's the sock, sock, or sock? Uh, socks. Uh -huh, socks. 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 What I will do find in my shoes. Okay, very good. Perfect. Nice. Uh, Cristina Cerritos. Teacher, no les he hecho todavía. Ah, okay. No problem. <laughs> uh, Elia Janira. Okay. No, teacher, porque ahorita voy manejando. Ah, con cuidado. No voy a tener un accidente. <laughs> Gabriel Esaú. Not here. Laura Fuentes. Eh, solo hice una, teacher, pero no sé si está bien. Good. Eh, my mom opening a dinner room. What she needs is to give tasting como degustación. No sé cómo se, se dice. Mm, tasting. Taste, tasting. Mm. Okay, okay no that was si good. Bien. That's fine. Perfect. Thank you, Laura. Uh, Jocelyn Castaneda. Okay, teacher. Uh, una sería, my mom wants to start reading a book. What do you need is buy a book. Okay. Y la otra sería, what I am saying is that I can buy. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Ivania Anaya. Okay, teacher. Uh, I don't know some restaurant because they don't have good food. Mm -hmm. um, what I would do is train to chef. Okay, nice. Very good. Know, That's fine. That's good. <laughs> Perfect. Abel Edenilson. Yes, Okay. What you should do is study English. Very good. More. Esa, esa está fácil. What you should do is to study English or study more English. Nice. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Very good. It seems that we are moving on. Very good. Uh, ¿Hay alguna pregunta o duda en la clase de ahora? Before we finish. Todo claro como la horchata. Okay. My friends, so we're going to finish the class. And let me just check the attendance. Let's see. Abel Edenilson Salazar Melara. Present. El one o one de ahora es para Abigail Elizabeth Flores Hernández. And then Carlos Humberto Estrada Escobar. Teacher. Good. Elias Janira Canizales Blanco. Present teacher. Good. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Gabriel Esaú Medara Rosales. Isela Beatriz Hernández Morales. Joana Saraí Maldonado González. Carla Daniela Molina Cruz. Present teacher. Good. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Present teacher. Good. Carla Lorena Mendoza Guevara. Present. Good. Kevin Ramiro Vázquez Pineda. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Present. Good. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. 
Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. Present. Good. Mirna Janet Ángel de Castro. Present, chair. Good. Good. Roberto Emilio González Cruz. Present, teacher. Good. Santos Cristina Cerrito de Ruiz. Present, teacher. Good. Saúl Adalberto Cornejo Valdés. Present. Good. Jocelyn Stephanie Roldán Castaneda. Present, teacher. Perfect. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good night and dream in English. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night.